Right, welcome back. I've got a cool mod to fit to the van. This is absolutely mint. I'm still in prototype stages yet, and one of the guys I chat to quite a lot on social media and stuff, Mark, he's got his own channel, Van Docs. Go and check that out. It's absolutely bob on his build. It's stunning, bam. And we've been throwing a few ideas about it. Mark come up with this idea, right? But he's nearly said what it was then about this mod. So we said, like, yeah, go on for it. We're throwing like bits things what we can do to it and stuff like that i'm not going to go into too much detail yet until i get up there so i'm going to grab myself a mackie's now because it's a good two hour drive up to where mark is he's up in carlisle and i'll see you up there Really, right, that's us rocks up at van docks now lovely van this one I tell you it's done a cracking job on it there's his man cave so looking here now what he's done let's have a look at the three star article what do you mind now on camera <laughs> <laughs> Look at them, aren't they mint? Right, so these go mate, step covers. We'll get Mike to open his van up now and he'll show us where they're gonna go. Look at this for a man cave, free to it. So these will basically fit on this step piece here. Because I've got the same setup as Mike where we've got quite a thick insulation piece underneath it. And then the flooring as well. So they'll cover this section straight down to here. So, plan with that is that these are going to have an LED at the back of them. So, on my design here, these, you've got quite short pieces here, so we were chatting for a while and was like, oh, what could we do with that? So, what we both decided to do was resin. So, we're going to attempt to resin these. So, plan of action is with this, we're going to stick these um, PVC sheets down the back of them. And then, what we'll do is lay these down and stick that sheet to the back of it. And then we're going to fill this in with resin on both of them. And basically, we'll just get that fill just to that top ledge there, and it, it'll fill all that in. And then at the back of these, once that resin's set, will be an LED strip fitted across the back here. And fingers crossed that I should line that up. Yeah, so I might as well test it first on these. If he cocks it up. <laughs> it goes wrong. We've got to plan B. <laughs> plan B. Colour them in. But no, they should look mint when they're done them. So Mark's just opened his uh, resin up now, right? <laughs> Being a posh camper as he is, he's got a gold leaf. What's all that about? I'm going straight at the sparkles. <laughs> hey, they'll see you, man. They're doing that. <laughs> right, so it's a two-party box of what we're going to use. It's poxy A, not poxy B. Now, I think this takes about eight hours for cure, depending on temperature. I can see this going everywhere now. Rachel's right, so got to be trial and error this, because I've never used resin before. I don't think Mark has, have you? Mm -hmm. What we'll do, we'll get these um, PVC sheets stuck to the back of these. Work out how we're going to stick that to it, whether they're going to silicone it or not. And then uh, we'll have a laugh. Fucking hell, I can't see that. There's a black back of Jesus. We're not blind, we just can't see it. So, Mark's going for a bit of this stuff for his logo. Did have pink like, but he's having none of it. Right, so here we are. Big pour now. So this is where this goes everywhere. <laughs> dead slow, dead slow. <laughs> Ooh. It is quite thick though, isn't it, really? It's a bit of self level, that. Ooh, he's a tiger, he's going to be too much on that one. I put plenty more in that one yet. Yeah. Right, go to the next one now. Good. Look at that steady hand. Don't. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh, we get no dribble. You'll get one hitter on this, right, lad. <laughs> oh, we went back. Oh, it's fell in the right spot, though. You look, how lucky he was. <laughs> in his free blue roll, what is Nick from work? <laughs> look at that. This could be uh, tricky, though. Yeah, them side bits are going to be hard, mm. aren't they? I'll tell you what, thank <laughs> God mine's dead easy. I've just got one big pour at middle there and it should all fill out that. Yeah, I didn't think about this, did I? <laughs> I should have just left that bit out. Right, so we're back in Jones's garage now because we practiced on uh, Mark's step and it came up quite nice actually, but we had, he had a couple of issues on it. So decided not to pour mine yet because it, the, no way would have been able to transport it back. So we're back in here now in Jones's little bomb site and then we'll get this step knocked up then. So now Mark had an issue with these when he clamped it. He'd actually marked the paint. So I've just sprayed it with a bit of silicon on the perspex sheet in here and I'm hoping that that should stop the paint from marking. Ooh. Right, we had an issue with paint on this. Plastic it and silicon don't mix. It eats the paint. So it's had to have a respray. Again, what a faff that was trying to get that off. Right, so we're ready for silicon time now. So I'm just going to prepare this. So again, two parts, A and B, mix them together. 
And the problem I've got is, I didn't get a bloody mixing cup with mine. It ripped off. Blue sprinkles. Can't really tell if it's got a blue spatula in it. And I think I might have done a bit too much resin there, but it's probably better doing too much than not enough. <sighs> Fingers crossed. I think I need a little plob. That come out a bit too quick like that then, jeez. Gotta try and get... Oh, bugger! I think I might have a bit too much in that bugger. That's not as easy as it looks, I tell you. Right, so we'll let that set now. So it said about four to six hours before you can demold it. We'll see how it gets on. Probably put a little bit too much in that tail bit, but I'm not going to touch it because it's just going to make a mess of it all again. So we'll see how this sets and then we'll see what it looks like. I'll see in about eight hours or in about two seconds in this. So as you can see from the second attempt, it went a little bit tits up. All the resin stuck to the bloody boarding when I pulled it off and it just damaged it all. So now on respray number two, and then we're going to attempt to resin this again. But I think what I'll do with the back inside of it, use some petroleum jelly. I've got no release agent, so I'll probably use a bit of petroleum jelly or something like that. Or I don't know, I'll come up with something, but I'm not going to do that again. I suppose we live and learn. Like I say, it's just all projects, just a practice in it, really. None of us are experts, I'm just blagging it. Right, let's see how this pour goes. So I'm going to try this. It's like a. I don't know what they call it, because it's got a bit of tape on it and the plan is with that, probably put a bit of Vaseline on back, just for release it and then just tape that to the back, keep it tight and up, that should alleviate the spill. I ain't feeling back end off stuff does me, eh? Brings back nightmares of doing the van, in that bloody tin foil shite. That is as flush as that is going to go, with minimal, or oh, should I say no, overspill. I'm going to leave that now. And fingers crossed that this one doesn't stick to the back in. Or if it does, it's not so bad because I can leave that back in there because it's dead thin. And it doesn't pour out. Please. Fingers crossed. Right, so have a look at how this bugger's turned out. Ooh, turn that out. Tiny bit of all spill on that back edge there. But took well. Let's see if we can pull it up now. Let's see if this will be the fun bit. I'm hoping. Oh, it's free. Tell you what, that backing worked. I've had no overspill at all on that. That Vaseline's kept it all in. Don't know if we should peel this off or not. Is that tempting fate? Let's have a look. If it's not stuck to it, it's a bonus. If it has, she's the bear. that. Perfect. Now, let's see if we can get some LEDs on this. So there's a box of LEDs. Got some random shit bits here. That one's the RGB one, which I took off my awning, which it was like a bloody candle, so it weren't bright enough. Got a choice of that one. We've got red, green, and blue. And then we've got the remainder of the cob one, which was for the awning. Now, this is quite bright, this, so I don't think I'll need this for the step. And then I've got a spur one here. Same again, that's an RGB one as well. So I think what I'll do, I'll do a test on this first, see what it's like, and here's one I already prepared earlier. So I've just basically connected up, SIG lighter, two little blocks connecting to, and for the RGB one, I've gone yellow, which is mid pause, and then the blue lead, which is the blue light. So I'll just plug this in, see what it's like. Bush shack, we got some lights. Now, don't need all of that, let's so try and cover some of that off, and see. Oh, I was like, you probably get away with the white one on that actually because I've got blue glitter in it. I'll check it with the white one now, see what that looks like. But I think we're going to go with blue. Not the best um, soldering, but tin these wires up a bit so it's easier to put it onto a strip, he says. So on, on the cob, 12 volt one side, and you've got negative on the other there. And you, I've got two little pads there with a bit of solder on, so I'm hoping these just for touch on the touch. Right, let's give that a whirl. Whack. There we have cob light. Yeah, I don't think I like the white. I think I prefer the blue. A bit too bright then. Blue it is. Right, let's chop a piece up and get it installed. So this is where our new step's gonna go. I'm just running another cable here now for the um, LED light here. Basically that's gonna go behind here somewhere. So I'll have to work out how I'm gonna stick this on. This trim will have to come off. This trim will have to come off here. And I'm gonna see if we can get to the back of this. I think it's two blocks behind this, I'll take this off. And then um, I think the fridge is coming out as well. Just to lift that unit up a touch. One thing you never see is behind the scenes. You'd think taking a little strip like that off would be dead easy. I'll tell you what, 
that stuff I've used. It's like pissing concrete. Try to break that off. And I snapped a wire. No wood. Knew it. The joys of remodeling a van. Honestly, sometimes this is stuff you should do at the start. Learn from my mistakes. If you're doing any little mods like this, it's you've got plenty of wires where you need them or where you might think you need them. And once you've done some, leave it. LEDs wired up now. So it'll roughly go there. I'm wondering whether it's sticking on carpet or stick it at a bit of an angle underneath so it shines down light. Because I think if that comes quite tight up to here, it, it's going to struggle getting the light on it. Let's see if it works. Get the keys out. Unlock. Oh, yeah, baby. Well, luckily, I didn't have to take the bottom off. I'll try and shimmy this over now. So we get that a nice edge on there. Oh, yeah, bugger. Is that tight up there? tad overlip here at the bottom which I'm not too worried about because when that plastic panel goes in there that finishes off but it's a nice tight fit it's getting shit all built back up band docks your fault this trash me van again fridge is back in what a pain in the ass that was I put fridge in right and I forgot to screw the base down for the bloody unit so I took the fridge on back all again rip it out put it back in but she's in there anyway yeah girl get in started a bit of a sticker collection off as well now coming on so if I finish this step off on top here now, what I'm going to do is, along this edge, is put a bit of this grip tape on. And it's more so to protect the step, really, because with this being sprayed black now, you can see where I've just caught it anyway, and it's just started scuffing. So that'll go on top of there, and it'll just protect that top edge, and it'll also give a bit of grip in case anyone comes out and they stand on it or whatever. So we'll get this stuck on. and see what it's like. This is 25 mil, 4 metres, so there's plenty here. It's probably not used 4 metres worth. There we have it, the lion step lit up. That tape up top there, you can see it. It's a really nice finish, that. Just sets it off a little bit. It looks a bit more professional. That step, chuffed to bits with. Big shout out to Mark, aka Van Docks. Go and follow his channel, right? Because he's come up with that and he's made that in his mate's workshop. And they are absolutely spot on. And Mark, can't thank him enough, mate. That's made the step look ten times better. Anyway, stay tuned. I've got another mod coming, right, on the back. And it's going to be a game changer.